Guess who's back? What's poppin' y'all? I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon. My name is Pratik. I preach holistic self-improvement. Today, I wanted to try something a little bit different for this video. So we're gonna do a quick visualization, okay? I wanna introduce two new characters to the channel. Character number one, we're gonna call him Lil Pratt. Now, Lil Pratt, Lil Pratt, he didn't know any better. So we can't blame Lil Pratt, but Lil Pratt, he lives a life of comfort. He indulges in junk food. He indulges in the instant gratifications of the activities around him. He binges Netflix and YouTube and TV shows, the cripplers of modern man. And on top of all of that, Lil Pratt plays video games. Nobody tells you this, but when you play League of Legends, it's like you take a, a dog smelling cologne and you put it on yourself and you go outside and all the opportunities around you just kind of repulse away. It's not a good look. We can't be doing that. But there's hope for Lil Pratt because one day Lil Pratt stumbled across self-improvement. Lil Pratt realized that his life could truly get better if he just put in the work. And Lil Pratt gets started. He starts doing all the good habits. He starts exercising. He cuts out the video games and the junk food. He starts getting his life on the right path until the motivation starts running a little bit dry. It's been a week, two weeks, and now Lil Pratt has forgotten why he got started in the first place. And then slowly but surely, Lil Pratt starts diving back into the old habits. He sees his friends playing video games at the school lunch table. They invite him to get on the evening. It's a Friday evening, right? It's Friday evening, so you can just, you can take it off and you can play some games with your friends. You earned this break, right? You worked really hard for this. You earned that break, right? And so he gets back into that. And then he forgets about self-improvement. Day by day goes by, month by month, year by year. And Lil Pratt doesn't make any progress. His life stays bad. He has his moments where he's motivated and he goes and he takes some kind of action. But all his efforts are short-lived. That is the problem with the modern human being. All the efforts of self-improvement are short-lived and they don't get you anywhere. They're just momentary bursts of your motivation. You feel like you wanna go make change, but they're not lasting long enough to actually be able to improve your life. Introduce character number two. We got Young P. Young P is humble from the get-go. He's a student of the world. Young P sees that getting to become the person that he wants to be in the future, that doesn't come easy. And he realizes that it's going to take weeks to months to years of diligence to truly achieve what he wants in his life. But when things get hard, Young P doesn't give up. Young P doesn't give in. He keeps going and working relentlessly towards his purpose because he knows that in the end, that journey and getting to that goal, a combination of the two will bring him the most fulfillment. You get a choice in life of who you want to be. Are you going to live like Lil Pratt? Chasing instant gratification, one reward after the next, after the next, never getting to the goals that you want. And when those rejections do come at any stage in your life, whether it's not getting into the college you wanted, whether it's not getting the job you want, whether it's not being able to afford the house or the car that you always dreamed that you thought you could, but in the end, now you're coping because you can't. Do you want to live that life? Or do you want to take that initiative, that step forward, put in the work now and set your future self up for success so that you can truly experience the rewards that this world has to offer? You make that decision. My message with this video is not to get on self-improvement. Getting on self-improvement, that's the easy part. You stumble across it, your friend mentions it. The hard part is sticking with it, even when you don't see the results. Life gets better, trust me. Okay, critique from the future here to wrap up this video. How do we get consistent with self-improvement? We know that consistency is the key to making results in the long term. That consistency will always be the short-lived attempts at self-improvement. So how do we do it? When you get onto self-improvement, if you're picking up a new habit and it feels unsustainable, you're doing it for a 90-day challenge and on day two or day three, you already missed it. And then you miss another day and then you miss another day. You're not able to keep up that consistency. It's because what you're picking is too hard. You're biting off more than you can chew. So the way to compensate for that is just start with something smaller. Start with something that you can actually do every day. It's okay if you feel like in this moment, it's not going to get you the optimal perfect gains, that's fine. 
The consistency is what's going to get you there in the long run. You have to go through the trials and tribulations of having to start with something smaller and build up to that bigger challenge. You can't start on a 90 day fitness challenge where you're working out three times a day for two hours if you've never worked out at any point in your entire life consistently. It's just not sustainable. And so to get that consistency, you need to start there. And then I'm making another video later on this week on how to be consistent with weightlifting, but um, just to show it in short, be proud of the progress that you're making today. When you watch my videos and you take some action, don't sit here thanking me, Pratik, as the content creator for coming like the Messiah and saving you. You took that action. Be proud of yourself for who you are and then maybe drop a like on the video and then that'll, that'll help me out, you know what I'm saying? But be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for your achievements and that way you can continuously be grateful for the little progress that you're making that will truly compound in the long run. Like, comment, subscribe. Critique, I'm out.